Hi Pisces, welcome to your July 2022 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. Guys, before I get started, I just want to quickly say to all my subscribers, thank you so, so much for your patience, your understanding, your love and support. I know I've been gone for a long time. I first went to get married and then I went on my honeymoon, which was great. But then I got COVID, and I'm okay. I am recovering. I've been quarantining. It's been about eight, nine days now um, since I've had COVID, and I've been trying to get these readings out as soon as I can. And in the meantime, I really do appreciate all your love and support. Thank you guys so, so much. So let's get right into this. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. This will not resonate with every Pisces that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message is going to be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Pisces, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Pisces. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Pisces and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. This simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Pisces, let's get this reading started. I will be using my sound bold and clear and set the energy, so if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's see what's happening for my Pisces in the month of July. Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Pisces? What is the energy surrounding Pisces right now in love and romance spirit? Let me know. All right, so let's see. Abundance, yes, love this Pisces. So Sagittarius just got this card. So if you have Sagittarius in your chart or if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, I highly suggest checking out the Sagittarius reading to see if there's messages for you there. But yeah, Pisces, I feel love is coming in. For you guys though, more particularly, I feel there's new love coming in for you. Someone new that is going to catch your eye, someone new that is coming into your life, and this is what you've been doing the work to kind of welcome in, Pisces. I feel like you've been single for a while, single for a bit, kind of similar to Sagittarius this reading. But the difference is I feel like very clearly someone new is coming on your doorstep. Someone new that you're going to meet, that you feel your soul vibrates with. I'm seeing the letter L. First, la first middle, last initial can mean something to someone. It doesn't have to be the case, as in like Lance as in, you know, Liana, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I feel Pisces that there's a new chapter opening up in your love life that is going to be successful. That is going to be what you've asked for, what you've manifested, what you prayed for. And maybe even some of you, you already know who this new person is. Like you met very, very recently, either end of June, beginning of July, that you kind of are starting to crush on. Trust me, they're starting to crush on you too. So that's beautiful. Okay, let's see what this someone around you wants to say, what this energy is going to kind of be like to prepare you, because I do feel this is brand spanking new. Okay, let's see. Wow, okay. So I know it wasn't meant to be like this. Interesting. So Pisces, I kind of get from this energy here you guys are going to meet unexpectedly, you know, out of the blue. I don't know. It doesn't feel like this is like a set up date. Like you guys are going to go meet on Tinder or on Bumble or Hinge, whatever people are on these days and like set up something like this. This feels like literally it's like you're invited to a party. You're invited to an event, your friend's house, and you meet someone during that, you know, outing. And I feel some of my Pisces spirit is trying to kind of 
you know, maybe spirit or even your friends recently are like, Pisces, come out with us. You're like, I don't know. I may just stay home, snuggle with my cats and hang out and watch movies. And, you know, I think there's going to be some gut feeling Pisces about going out one particular night that you're just going to get it in your solar plexus chakra. Something feels right about it. And I feel that's the night you're going to meet this person. And it almost I'm like I'm seeing a bar. Maybe it's a club. Um, and I feel this person just like you guys lock eyes and you see each other from across the room and they're going to stare at you a little bit before they walk up to you and start to talk to you, want to see who you are, get your name. Um, and I feel they may even ask what your sign is, or maybe that's what you're going to ask them if you're super into astrology. But yeah, and I feel Pisces like this is coming unexpectedly, which is, I know it wasn't meant to be like this. Um, you know, I hate to bring this up, but I still feel there's a lingering X in your vibes that still watches you, that may get a little jealous seeing your glow up, seeing that you're moving on. Um, and may, even if they see you like moving on to someone new, maybe posting a location on social media where you're with someone else, they're going to get pissed about it, kind of sad about it, I guess, more than anything. I don't know if someone just needed confirmation that that energy is still there. It is. But honestly, go towards the new Pisces. It's going to be so, so much better. But yeah, I really do feel this energy of this person coming in is really unexpected. Just when you, you know, I don't know, kind of are just going with the flow, going with the vibes. You're going to attract the one person you've been really hoping to manifest. It doesn't feel like this is anyone you've met yet. But for some of you, maybe it's just very, very recently. And the time frames are a little off for each and every one of you as this is general. Nice. Okay. I don't know why I'm hearing white t-shirt. Maybe that's what you're wearing right now. Or when you meet this person, that's what they're going to be wearing. Maybe someone has to wear a white t-shirt for work. Or a white collared shirt, maybe. Tell me more about Pisces love life in July spirit. Whew, okay. The hanged man. Interesting. Pisces energy. Someone coming in your life could be another Pisces or someone with Pisces in their chart. I'm definitely going to um, get all the cards out first and then show them to you guys. Mmm. Wow, Pisces, straight out, straight out, there's three major arcanas that came out for you. This is a big time in your life, a big chapter unfolding in your love life that is going to make you very happy. And Pisces, Spirit's rewarding you with this for all the work that you've done, for all the healing you've done, for the growth that you've done, for the success that you may be experiencing outside of love and romance, you're career your friendships like there's just one part that was missing which was love for you and here it is coming in it's beautiful wow yeah and they're going to be excited when you give them your number when you give them their your social media they're going to be messaging you quite a bit interesting but pisces your guard may be a little bit up just a tiny bit, just because you want to feel them out first. You don't want to make another mistake of repeating the past. I get it. Okay, so Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, still coming through strongly. So yeah, Pisces, in the past, what's been setting up this is that your guard has been significantly up. I feel for a lot of you, you were just taking a break off love not really wanting to focus on love, remaining single. Um, I don't know. I also kind of feel, Pisces, that you never really found someone that was willing to be open and vulnerable with you. There's just something that you kind of attracted in the past of people that were just unavailable or guarded or, you know, not trusting of you. I almost get for some of you, Pisces, like in the past, you've dealt with people who would accuse you of cheating, would be jealous, suspicious, possessive, um, and you've been through it in love and romance. It was either, you know, just dealing with someone that was, you know, toxic a bit or just disappointment after disappointment. 
Um, but you know, you've learned a lot through those lessons. You've grown a lot through those lessons. You are a spiritual warrior, Pisces, and none of those disappointments ever fully brought you down. I think with every disappointment, you learn something new about yourself. You learn something new about what you are, what your value is, what your worth is, and what's willing to fight, what you're willing to fight for, and what you're willing to let go of. Um, you know, Pisces, I almost feel like someone from your past try to come back into your life around Mercury retrograde, the beginning of June, that you had to reject. And that put the final nail in the coffin of that karmic cycle. And some of you may still be feeling the residue of that person's energy. It's because they're attached to you so strongly, um, you know, psychically, telepathically, energetically, but you're, you're putting a good guard up. And I think Pisces, you knew it was best to kind of put pause on love and romance so you could kind of recover, so you can kind of recharge. And here you are, you know, now coming back into the light, stepping back out again, going out a little bit more, maybe kind of being more open than you were before. Um, maybe some of you dealt with some sort of injury too, like a painful back or like a sprained ankle or something that you had to recover from for someone. That's just confirmation. It's not for everyone. But yeah, Pisces, I feel that you weren't super open to love until you did some healing, until you did some growth, and until you felt you were ready to put yourself back out there again. Um, and I feel that there are people who are a little resentful of you rejecting them, but oh well, it was best for you. And maybe even Pisces, you were the one that got rejected, right? And you were still recovering from that. You realize that Maybe that person just wasn't meant to be as hard as it was at first to kind of fully understand that, whoever this was in the past. You kind of are starting to see why it worked out so much better that you didn't pursue that person, things didn't unfold further, because I really do feel you started to recognize the toxicity of it or the codependency of it or it just not, it's not right for you. It wasn't in your vibration. And maybe you were even steeping a little bit too low to make it work and it didn't serve you. But you're bouncing back, Pisces. You're bouncing back big time. So dead center of this is the hangman. Pisces energy, like I said. So with this Pisces, I feel like when this person sees you, they're going to be intrigued. And I'm saying that because maybe you need to pause um, the video to look at the imagery here, but you see this guy just being enchanted by this woman who is just in her own vibe, in her own world, right? Like, regardless of gender or sex, I'm just saying as what the picture depicts, but I feel Pisces, it's like you, by going through the spiritual awakening that past failed romantic connections have brought you to, you are in a point where you're not going to overreach you're not going to chase. If there's an opportunity at love and romance that presents itself, it's going to have to prove it to you that it's worth coming out of your shell, worth giving it a chance. So I feel, Pisces, that you, someone here, you or them, is going to come off a little bit guarded, a little bit shy even. But that's not going to stop this person from wanting to know more about you. They find you mysterious. Again, enchanting. I don't know why I'm hearing it that way, but hey, you're giving off those magical vibes, Pisces. I'm not surprised. Um, but it's like, also, there's just something unique about you, something kind of offbeat about you. Um, I would say awkward, but it's kind of just like you have your own mannerisms that kind of stick out. I wonder if it's like because you kind of like slouch a little bit. Or it's like the way you laugh or the way you stand, it's noticeable and it's different and it's intriguing to this person. Someone could be very tall or someone may have really nice legs, nice calves particularly that's coming through. Um, but yeah, I feel with this Pisces, like your love life was put on pause for a bit, but now that someone has their eye on you or someone is coming into your life and 
you may be a little bit unsure of it at first. I think this is the answer to your prayers or the answer to what you were wanting to manifest is someone that is going to meet you in your alignment, someone who's going to accept you for who you are, um, someone that is going to stick through all the good and bad times because you know that Marilyn Monroe quote, if they don't accept me at my worst, then they don't deserve me at my best. And I'm not saying you're like someone that's hard to deal with Pisces, but it's like, I feel whether it's you or the people that you dealt with in the past, there is a pattern of kind of putting a connection on a pedestal or having so much expectations out of it that weren't realistic or that didn't meet, you know, um, what you really hoped for. And I think with this Pisces, it's best to kind of take it slow at first before you dive in. But this person's also going to know straight off that you're spiritual. That, I don't know if you have like some sort of spiritual tattoo on you that kind of gives it away. Or just by talking to you, you go in depth that, you know, makes people think outside the box. And I think although you could be very attractive... It's your mind and your conversation that gets people really reeled in. What's crossing this is the death card. So Scorpio energy here coming through. So this is kind of like challenging the situation or just crossing the situation, right, in your love life. So Pisces, I feel like Fully accepting and letting the past go truly is the key to this success, is the key to this new chapter in your life unfolding. Maybe some of you, again, like with whatever you had to put an ending to, it was rough. It was hard. There was a lot of ego death that you had to go through within um, a certain ending of a connection that maybe you thought was your soulmate, you thought was your twin flame, you thought was going to be the one and it wasn't. And maybe you felt like someone, I almost get for some of you, you felt like someone from the past led you on. And then they just discarded you in some way or rejected you in some way that just really, really hurt. But that ending Pisces is really what's making this new love come in. And I feel by continuing to just let the past go is going to serve you and being more open to this opportunity that is trying to make it your way. Um, I do get, Pisces, that with the energy that you've been kind of cultivating within you, it does come off a little intense too. You, you come off with this intense vibe that kind of shakes some people but, you know, if it shakes some people, at least they won't. How do I say this? The intensity that you give off, Pisces, only the brave and only the ones that you would actually give a shot would continue to pursue it. I feel sometimes, whether it's because of your disappointment in the past or not, you come off a bit strong. And some people may feel like, I don't know, that you wouldn't give them a chance, you wouldn't give them a shot. So there was a lot of people, because of that energy you put, you put out there of, you know, I'm not taking any BS anymore. It actually helped you drive away those players, playettes, F-boys, F-girls that weren't going to serve you in the first place. Um, but for most of you, I just got to say that the ending you had to go through is the catalyst to what is opening up for you now. And I feel a lot of you through this new connection, this new love that is coming in, you're going to really understand why the past would have never worked and why you're actually so much better for the past ending. What's crowning this is the sun card. Leo energy. Yeah, Pisces, what I feel with this is that um, their energy is going to come off in a very light way to you. I, I, I just feel like Pisces, they're going to be so sweet, so genuine, so authentic. This person is not looking to deceive you. 
that comes into your life. They're going to have a great smile. They're going to have a really nice skin too, a nice skin tone, a nice glow to their skin. Um, but Pisces, this person is going to make you really, really happy. And I think the more time you hang out with them this summer, you know, if they do offer to hang out with you, to pick you up, to take you out, I would, I would definitely take up their offers on it because I think you're going to have amazing dates. Um, for some of you, it's going to be involving like outdoor activities, um, you know, pool party I'm hearing for someone. Uh, it could also be like a barbecue, a picnic, maybe like an amusement park. Um, but I also get Pisces that spirit will make it very, very clear to you that this is the person. This is the person. Like, I don't know. It's through, you know, confirmation after confirmation, multiple synchronicities that you may be seeing. But this person's energy just feels so warm, so attractive, so magnetic, so light. Um, maybe someone brightened their hair recently, or maybe this person will have lighter hair. Maybe someone just bleached their hair, highlighted their hair. Um, I don't know why that's coming through very strongly, but it may be for someone. I kind of want to clarify the sun a little bit more. Tell me more about the sun here, crowning Pisces reading spirit. It's a big yes from the universe. Maybe if you're trying to ask if this is the person I'm thinking about, take it as a yes, If it's, especially if it's new or newer. Page of Swords. Yeah, so this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person could be younger than you, Pisces, or you're significantly younger than this person. There could be an age difference there. But, um, you know, I feel with the Sun card and the Page of Swords here, is that what's initially attracting the two of you is your, you know, your minds. You guys have great conversation, deep conversation, insightful conversations that kind of teach each other new things or new insights. And I think that's what you love about people, Pisces. Um, you know, you're not superficial. You're not just, you know, one dimensional. You like to dive deep. You like to have those conversations that really make people think and have you learn, you know? And I think that's just initially what's going to get this going is that, you know, you guys are going to get pulled to the side, talk all night, and then hang out the next day. Um, This person will want to see you. This person will, you know, not be hiding, not be ghosting. They're going to be here which makes a huge difference, I feel, than the people you dealt with in the past, Pisces. Peacock feathers on this hat are really sticking out to me. And maybe the letter P, as in um, Patrick, as in Priscilla, first middle lash initial can mean something to someone. Um, but maybe the peacock also resonates with someone too. Let me get another card. Tell me more about this energy here. And then the king of swords. Yeah, nice. Aquarius energy. And then bottom of the deck, ten of swords. Okay, so yeah, again, this whole theme reoccurring of Pisces, whatever ended had to end. And maybe it felt hard, it felt abrupt, but I promise this new energy that's coming, like even in the background here of this card, you see the sun, right? And here's the sun here. And Pisces, this is, again, th this will be your answer as to why the past had to end, why it wouldn't work. It, it just keeps repeating itself. I even feel, Pisces, this may be the person, like, if you meet at nighttime, you're going to be talking to them, hanging out with them until the early morning, the rising sun. But with this King of Swords here, they're very honest. Um, they're very intelligent. They are no BSers. They would not talk to you if they weren't interested. This person is a serious person. Not rigid in any way, but like they definitely aren't the type to waste your time. They're not the type to um, go thinking with their sacral chakra. I have to keep it a little G-rated for YouTube, but you get what I'm saying, I hope. They're not sexually motivated. They're not immature. Um, and I think their energy, their wise energy, their 
you know, even if they're younger, it feels like they have just so much wisdom. Maybe they've been through a lot in life and they may kind of reveal that to you and all that they've been through and all that they fought through. And maybe you're going to feel like I I resonate with that. I feel you on that because I've been through the same. Like you guys are really intellectually meeting each other eye to eye. And I think that's really what's going to make you the happiest. What's reading this is the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So yeah, I really do feel this has the potential, this new love coming in of being the one that will be the, the last relationship you'll have to be looking for. Or, you know, you're not going to be, you know, disappointed in this one. I have a really good feeling about this Pisces. And I'm not trying to say like, of course, there'll never be a horrible not horrible, but like a bad experience with this person. This is still life. We still go through some things and there's still up and downs. I mean, I've been with my um, now husband for 12 years and we met when we were very young and at different vibrations, different frequencies, but you'll make it through anything because this was built to last is what I'm hearing from spirit. This may be the person you end up being in a committed relationship with this may be the person you may end up marrying one day. For this being rooted in the Ten of Pentacles, you guys see serious potential in one another. And maybe this is Spirit's answer to, you know, again, this is what you had to, to wait for. This is what, you know, was always meant to be for you. And I'm seeing a denim jacket too that someone likes to wear or that you'll see them wearing. I don't know. But yeah, Pisces, this is going to be successful between the two of you. And even if there are a little bit of rough patches, you guys are going to be so solid with one another and wanting this with one another. It's just going to be a small little dip. And I wonder with this being rooted in the Ten of Pentacles, you meet through work, through specific projects, or if you have your own business, it's like they help you with a certain project in some way or they're investing in you in some way. How they see you um, and how you stand in this connection, what they want in this connection from you is the eight of wands, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, they're going to be, they see you as being someone that's going places. So again, for if you have your own business, if you have your own job or things in your career are really kicking off, um, they see that you can do anything that you set your mind to. Um, you have everything, the resources, the tools, the intellect for sure um I'm hearing I'm not just a pretty face and again it could you could have a handsome face whatever you want to describe yourself as but they definitely always or they will always start fantasizing about you thinking of what it would be like if you were theirs all the places you could go um you know that type of energy and with the eight of wands there's going to be a lot of texting a lot of phone calls a lot of the direct met, uh, DMs, whether that's on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever, Facebook maybe even, um, communication is going to be on point. But you turn them on, Pisces. You will turn them on very, very easily. And at least though from that, you know, desire, it, it's backed up with integrity. It's backed up with wanting to know more about you. But they're, they're definitely seeing you as, this is it. I am I can take this to a whole nother level. Eight of Wands is about expansion. And also with the Eight of Wands, to me, it's very divine card. It's about like messages from spirit or guidance of how you can get there from spirit, from the universe. And maybe Pisces, again, this is just confirmation that you know, this is what you've been asking for. This is what you've been wanting in your love life. For those of you who have been manifesting, who have been waiting, who have been, you know, trying to heal to let the new in, here it is. How you see them, how they're coming from, and where they're standing on this is the Four of Swords energy. And this is Libra energy, a lot of swords energy. Um, definite air sign in someone's chart. But with this, I feel like a couple things, different messages for different groups of you. Some of you, they're intrigued, but they're also, you know, especially if you're the one with the hangman that we were talking about, 
is taking things a little bit slow. They'll understand and they'll be patient. Um, you know, when you need your space, they'll give you your space. This person is also independent Pisces. This person also likes their time, their energy. They're introverted, I think, like you. Um, that's how I feel anyways. And if you don't resonate with that, it's not your message. But they're kind of like, you know what, I think we'll both vibe, both vibe on that aspect where you need your time, where you need your, you know, your energy to kind of disconnect. I'll do the same. And also, if that for different groups of you with this four of swords, I kind of feel like <clears throat> they want to not rush into anything. Even if you're the one that is kind of sexually starting to get stimulated, um, they're not going to get sexually involved until they know it's right. They, you know, I feel this person is a little bit more reserved as far as not wanting to just jump right into bed to get to know you. They want to, they want to unpeel more layers. And I think you'll be okay with that too, Pisces, for the most part. Um, even if they have like this sexual urge for you at times, like they know it's best if you guys take things slow, especially if you're the one kind of initiating it too. But, uh, with the four of swords as well, maybe they're right now, um, I don't know right now in this moment, again, like you just don't see it right now. They're not parent right now. They're kind of in rest, maybe doing their own healing, their own charging, but sometime in July, I'm. I feel it. They're going to come out of their shell. They're going to meet you that one night, maybe that one day, whatever it is for you guys. And it's going to take off from there. Wow. All right, Pisces. To see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen and unfold by the end of the month? What more do you need to know about this new love? What's the tea? We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of the situation, what they're likely to do, how this is all going to play out. I'm also going to pull oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this connection, to ask spirit, what else do you need to be aware of, know about when this does happen? So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Pisces, I really hope that this has resonated with you in some way. It's given you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your love life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.